Hello fellow KeyCatters, I'm Reed with DigiKey Electronics, and in this video series I'll be talking you through the changes and new features of KeyCAD 5.0. Let's get started. In this video we'll be discussing the handful of changes and new features added to EE Schema since the last stable release. Of the changes, the most noticeable, again, are the visuals. The icons have been redrawn and are in a scalable format so they adjust size with different DPI monitors. A large number of changes have been made in the drop down menus. Menu items have moved, changed name, been added, or placed in their own menu altogether. I will cover these in more detail at the end of the video. There have also been significant changes to the add parts dialog box. As you can see, the layout has changed and there has also been the addition of a footprint selector, which allows you to select and assign a footprint before even placing the part. Now moving on to the new features. A zoom to selection button has been added to the toolbar, allowing you to zoom in to very specific selections of your schematic. Another feature that's been added is the highlight net tool. This tool allows you to see multiple connections in a complex schematic. This also carries over to the PCB and in the reverse. Two more features that have been added are the symbol fields editor and the update field values. The symbol fields editor allows you to bulk update all of the field values for your symbols spreadsheet style. The update field values allows you to revert all of your symbols back to their original library state. Another tool that's been added is the symbol library reference editor. This window allows you to update the library reference to every symbol in the schematic. And last but not least, Possibly one of the most exciting features added to EE Schema is the full featured sim. This is based on NG Spice and I'll cover it in more detail in the next video. And now onto the drop down menus. An import non KeyCAD schematic file allows for quick and easy import of EagleCAD schematics. Under the import menu, the footprint association file has been moved over from the edit menu. Under the export menu, a drawing to clipboard tool has been added. This allows for quick and easy export of the schematic sheet as an image. Under the edit menu, the cut, copy, and paste buttons have been added, along with the update field values tool. Under the view menu, the library browser has been brought in from the tools menu. The zoom to selection button has been added, and the four buttons from the left hand toolbar have been added as well. The place menu has remained unchanged. A new menu added is the inspect menu, where the electrical rules checker has been moved over from the tools menu. Under the tools menu, the update PCB from schematic tool has been added, along with remap symbols, edit symbol fields, edit symbol library references, and the simulator tool. Under the preferences menu, the configure paths tool has been added, along with the icon options menu. This allows you to turn icons off and on in the menus. Under the help menu, the copy version button has been moved under the about keycad window. That should cover the majority of changes to EE schema. In the next video, I'll cover the simulator. Thanks for watching.